Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make infinitely looping parallax backgrounds in Godot 4. I do assume that you've already watched my tutorial on parallax backgrounds. If you have, head over to that script that you created. Let's go ahead and create a new variable, and it will be an offset for our position. So position offset, we'll set that to a vector 2 in our ready function. Let's go ahead and set that position offset to our position. So it'll get whatever our starting position is. For this next step, you'll need to know the length of your tile. So you could do this by measuring it, or if you already know it, use that. So I'll also check to say 1,000, and we'll see that 4,000 is the amount of a full tile. Now, back in our script, let's check if our position dot x minus our player dot position dot x is greater than our size, which is 4,000, as we covered in the previous step. If it is, we will add to our offset with a dot x of negative 8,000, which is our size times 2. Now, let's check if our position minus our player position dot x is less than our negative size. We will plus add 8,000. And finally, we must add this position offset to our looping position. So whenever the player is greater than the size, it will move the tile to match the player. And for this, we will need to have two of all of our tiles. So for the first one, let's duplicate it. Let's drag it over. Let's set its initial to 4000. And we don't need to change the code for this because we have the initial offset. And now we will duplicate every single other one, make sure that they are next to each other in the hierarchy. Otherwise you will have some weird layering issues. And now I will hide the player so we can see the full effect. I have increased his speed so we can see it faster. But now if we press play, go full screen, you'll see that no matter what, as far as we keep moving, it will keep looping. That's because every time we reach the edge, it will loop the previous tile on top of us, creating an endless cycle. Anyways, guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.